This is gonna be a little bit of a different video. It's gonna be a cooking video. Um, the picture of the crepes that's in my intro is like looks good, and several people like it. So I'm gonna teach you how to make those right now. So starts out with some pancake mix. This is just regular from Walmart in a bowl. Just pour some out. I usually don't measure when I make pancakes, but uh, I am making a lot. I'm making some for me and my brother. So then you're gonna take some water and pour the water into the bowl. I'm gonna need to stir it. So for crepes, you want it to be a little bit watery, not like this watery, but um, yeah. So if it's too watery, add some more mix. If it's too dry, add some more water, and then just keep stirring. This should probably be a decent consistency. It's kind of, it's pretty good. It's kind of thick, so I'll probably put a little more water in there. But actually, I'm not gonna add water. I'm gonna add a little bit of a secret ingredient. I'm gonna put some orange juice in it. Just a little bit, not a lot, because I don't want it to overpower. All right, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pour a little bit onto this spoon. Okay, so poured it in the spoon, and then I'm just gonna dump it into there. Perfect. That is the consistency that we like. Awesome. So, now that I've done that, I also like to add some mashed up banana into my batter. I usually use a whole banana, but it's kind of a lot. I think I am going to use the whole banana today, so first I'm going to cut it in half. And then what I do is I cut it up like... Well, actually, usually I go long ways, so just like... Cut it into strips like this. I'm going to move this down so you can kind of see a little of what I'm doing. So once it's cut into strips, I'm going to go ahead and cut it long ways. Just like that. the second half of the banana. So now that there's a whole banana in here all mashed and everything, um, I'm going to go ahead and start to make the crepe. I'm going to just go ahead and put a couple of scoops of batter into the pan, smooth it all out so it covers the whole bottom of the pan. Use a smaller pan or you can use a bigger pan but like try to make them more circular shaped. And there we go. And you can kind of just check it by trying to pull up on the sides. It's ready. I think my heat's up a little bit too high. I'm going to turn the heat down a little bit. It's probably done now. So. I'll just check it. Yep, looks good. So now. Take a plate. So the next step is the cream cheese. I'm just going to take some cream cheese, just some regular cream cheese, and kind of shape it into like a. You can roll it if you need to, but just kind of shaping it into a long strip. It doesn't matter how much cream cheese you use, just like that. Now we are going to load this crepe up with berries. So we're going to start out with some strawberries, cut the top off, because that we don't need that, and then just kind of cut it up to little pieces. Kind of evenly spread them. Okay, next we're going to do some raspberries. Let's go ahead and put 
some nice ones on here. We'll go ahead and actually cut those up a little bit. There we go. That looks good. Now we'll go ahead and do some blackberries. Some of these I think are small enough, like this one, that we can just kind of put them on there. And let's find one more here. Here's a good looking one. Put him on there. And then finally, we just need to put some blueberries on there. Just like that. Then if you can, try to roll it up. But this just looks like it's going to be a fruit and cream cheese pancake taco. <laughs> yeah, that's how you do it.